Hey, welcome back to the Life of Freedom YouTube channel. My name is Salvador Brigman, and today I wanna to talk about how do you build up passive income streams so they can support your lifestyle. On this channel, we talk about how you can actually lead the life that you want, whether that's going and chilling on the beach, um, working on a side business or a side hustle, and just kind of spending time in the way you want and being in control of your life. And that comes from having passive income. That is one of the sources that's gonna enable you to support your life, to be able to do what you want, and to be able to, basically, if someone says, hey, you, I wanna hire you for this project, and you're like, yeah, I'm not really that interested in that, you can have the liberty to do that. Freedom is all about choice, and one of the things that unlocks choice is having income streams and income flows so you don't necessarily have to work if you don't want to. We're talking about that all today. The way I'm gonna sort of divide up this video is how do you make passive income when you have money and how do you make passive income when you don't have money because there's a two side of different strategies here and I'm also engaged in both of these. We'll say no money, we'll start here. If you don't have any kind of money, we'll divide the board and we'll say you have money. Um, and even if you only have $1,000, you can earn passive income with that. And even if you don't only have five hours or 10 hours to invest a week, you can also earn passive income with that. Um, so first of all, if you do not have money, how do you build passive income? Well, income is only generated from a few different things. Number one, it's generated from money that you have that you invest. Number two, it's generated from you um, trading your time with someone else. You're trading a service. Someone is paying you to do something, but that's not really passive income. Number three, it's generated from a product. The sale of a product is what can create passive income. So when it comes to your time, we have to actually talk about investing your time in order to generate passive income in the future. And these are some ways you can actually do this if you don't have any money, but you have some time at your disposal. So let's talk about a few different ways you can do this. Number one, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is one of the easiest ways to get started um, if you do not have any kind of product to sell. Affiliate marketing very simply is when you as a YouTuber, as a podcaster, as a blogger, you mention a book, you mention a digital product, you mention a resource, if they have an affiliate program, when you they, people go, they click that link and they go and buy that thing, they buy that book or they buy that product, you actually get a commission for that. You'll get a 10% commission, 20%, 50%, whatever it is, however the affiliate program works. So you can use affiliate marketing to generate passive of income and I this is one of the streams of revenue for my own life and for my own business where when I recommend products if I recommend services I actually get a cut of that for different ones that are out there and over time by generating free content like podcasts like YouTube videos and I have the chance to then mention and plug different resources and tools that I use people go and check them out they and then I earn a commission if they decide to actually purchase that or maybe I do a review of the product if I really really liked it and then I can have an affiliate marketing income stream and that is one form of passive income there are pros and cons obviously to affiliate marketing number one being you don't need a product to actually sell number two you don't have as much control you can obviously generate some traffic but putting out free content, um, but you don't have as much control when it comes to you don't own the company. So the company could go out of business and they might not end up paying you. That's happened to me a few times. Or I join an affiliate program that isn't so great and you know I refer $1,000 worth of customers to them and I'm not paid because for whatever reason their, their affiliate program wasn't super well set up and they didn't have the cash to be able to pay uh, and they didn't think things through. That's happened to me before. I actually have a YouTube video about that if you're interested <laughs> that talks about how I was screwed out of a bunch money from an affiliate program. So affiliate marketing is one way to generate income when you do not have any money. Another is investing. And there's a lot of different types of investing. We'll say stocks. Stocks generate a few different types of passive income. Number one, you have capital gains. Capital gains are just when a stock increases in value and you sell that stock, you end up making the difference. So if you bought a stock for $10, they ended up going up, the more people bought it, there's more popularity, you end up selling it for 50 bucks, um, then you earned $40 in capital gains. That, this, obviously that's also gonna be taxed. So capital gains is one form of passive income. Another one would be dividends. 
Dividends would be, if a stock is distributing dividends, they're basically saying to their shareholders, we're not going to retain all of the earnings and reinvest in a company, so we're gonna distribute dividends to the shareholders of the company, and those dividends would then end up passing through to you and be a form of passive income, and that's kind of the earning per share that you would get if you're investing in stocks. And that's gonna vary from company to company. Some people have a dividend investing strategy where they're only investing in stocks that pay really healthy dividends. Other people have a capital capital gain strategy where they're trying to invest for long-term growth and in that way earn passive income. It's gonna kind of vary based on the stage of your life. Typically, um, people that are looking to retire early or are looking to retire soon, they're gonna be switching more of their stocks into dividend paying stocks because they need income versus people that are not gonna to touch the money until much longer, they're gonna be investing in capital gains. Another thing would be bonds. Bonds are another form of investing and bonds are gonna obviously have a price that you pay for it and you can sell that bond if you want to, but they're also gonna have interest payments where when uh, the person who, who basically you're lending the money to pays back the interest, you are also gonna receive coupon payments from that bond. You're gonna receive uh, money back. It's called a fixed income investment. You're gonna get money when people pay uh, their debt back, basically with that bond. Lots of different types of bonds. Could be a corporate bond, could be a government bond, um, et cetera. Bonds are a great way to earn uh, regular and, and healthy income. However, they're not going to appreciate in value you know, in the way that stocks do. And it's also much more, I guess I would say, of a safe investment. And it's not as much of a, a hedge against inflation because if inflation is taking off, the amount that you're being paid from that bond is going to be the same. There's some other things you could do, like you'd have uh, municipal bonds, which you, know, you could talk about, you know, treasury bonds, tips bonds, or um, inflation protected bonds, these different things. But in general, I would say bonds are, are, are you know, one way to earn uh, fixed income investment, but there's also some other ones. Here's another one. Um, if you're investing in a REIT, REITs are another form of uh, investing when you have a, a bit of money to spend. So REITs will distribute dividends, kind of like with stocks, and also there might be some appreciation depending on the type of uh, property that a REIT is investing, or it could be if you're, they might be uh, investing in debt and be mortgage-backed securities, a REIT then might pay similar to a bond. So that, uh, REITs are another form, if you have money, that you could invest and put that money to, to use and start to get into some passive income here. So we talked about a few different types here with if you already have money. I wanna add a few more if you don't have money to this board so you can know what to do going forward. So affiliate marketing is one of these. The other is sell a digital product. Why is this passive income? Well, you don't have to recreate you know, multiple versions of this product. You're basically selling copies of the product. This is what I do. Um, I sell digital products online. I sell online courses. I sell books. Um, you know, I sell eBooks, audio books. I sell educational content and I sell digital programs and these different things. And I don't have to go out there and create multiple versions of a course that doesn't cost me any money. So it's a form of passive income. People can buy my books from watching my YouTube videos or from listening to one of my podcasts or something like that, or coming across from my blog articles. And then that's a form of passive income, I am not doing anything. I'm not working in order to generate those income flows. I'm not doing anything when someone enrolls in a course. I have all the marketing already set up and there are some other strategies um, behind that. Another form of uh, you know making passive income is with advertising. So advertising, I have a video out there on um, advertising and how much money I'm making from a YouTube channel and why that is passive income. I'm not working for the money that's coming in from the YouTube channel. I'm just making money because people are checking out the videos and I have no you know, physical time that's spent in that. I just, spend, I just invest the time basically to put together the video. Same with affiliate marketing. I have another video out there on YouTube talking about affiliate marketing specifically tied to Amazon. So all of these can sort of tie together and it kind of depends on what, what, what bucket you want to fall into. Kind of in the same line of taking the time to generate a product, you could also do other things like you could license any kind of creative work that you have. So for an example, let's just say that you take a bunch of really great, really killer photos when you're going and traveling across the country, you decide to upload them to a, a stock uh, photo website and you can then sell those photos and every single time someone purchases them, you can then make a royalty off of that. Or you can also do that with video footage, stock video footage. Creating your own assets and selling them is sort of the kernel behind passive income. But so you have to to put in a little bit of work in terms of creating value in some way, but um, we can say stock photos 
or royalty and you don't need any money to do that. You know, you just need a camera really. And nowadays you can use your iPhone if you want to um, in order to earn revenue passively that way. These are some of the things you can do just kind of to get started um, immediately. However, if you want to spend a little bit more time in creating your passive income streams, there are some other things you can do. So if you have a little bit of money here and um, you don't want to you know, just give your money to Wall Street or something like that, you could set up an online store. An online store is gonna sell products and you could advertise that store, you could sell your products on Amazon or a marketplace like that, and you can basically have orders flowing in and streaming in without you doing anything. You can really leverage um, your system a lot. If you set up an online store and you have good marketing, you then don't really have to worry about you know, doing all these different things and people can be ordering in the middle of the night when you're sleeping. Um, setting up an online store is one way to do that. Doing things like drop shipping, we'll also add here Amazon, Drop shipping. If you're not familiar with that, you can always look up on a YouTube video. Um, these are great ways you can buy a business that's already cash flowing. Buy a business. Kind of going along with, with REITs. Um, if you want to have more day-to-day -day management, you could rent a property. That's gonna generate uh, cash flows for you every time someone pays it. And I would say also with that, that'd be Airbnb. Now it's gonna be a little bit more work, obviously, but those are some ways if you already have some money that you could generate some passive income streams for you. Uh, the final way that I'll say here is uh, kind of in the line of renting, you could also rent things that you own. So like, let's just say you, you have a bunch of camera equipment already, you can rent that out to people that need it. Or if you have uh, a room which can be turned into an office space, maybe deciding or thinking about maybe renting the different stuff that you have basically that's going to have value for other people. So renting in general is going to be um, one of the other ways you can create passive income, but you obviously need the money to accumulate the things that you have. Well, I think that getting started with no money, quite frankly, is more rewarding than getting started when you have a lot of money. And here's why. In order to generate passive income, you need a lot of money in order to get started with stocks, bonds, real estate, etc. Let's just say, you know, taking a really um, low ball kind of return, let's just say 5%. If you have $100,000, maybe you can make $5,000 worth of passive income in a year. Isn't that, that's, that's really low in my opinion. Like, you, let's say at the best you can make 10% of passive income if you have $100,000. However, you can generate the same amount of passive income and you can live a life of freedom by setting up an online business and getting involved in some of the stuff over here, like affiliate marketing, creating your own products, writing a book, um, you know, just advertising even from your, from your videos. Um, I share in my other YouTube videos some of the passive income streams that I have and how that way exceeds if I needed you know, hundreds of thousand dollars in order to create those same income streams, it would be, it would be much longer for me to get to this point in my life. However, you know, I'm in my 20s, I can have a life of freedom where I'm doing what I want with my time. I have a lot more leverage with my, my time and my income, these different things. I don't always have to be working. I can work from different locations. I can have a location independent business. And for me, that was so rewarding. It's enabled me to have a much higher, I would say, ability to do what I want with my life, even at a young age. And that's because of the passive income streams that I've built up over here. And that's what I would love to show you also how to do if you're interested in getting started with that. First of all, go and check out some of the links in the description in terms of ways that you can get started. Take a second to subscribe to this YouTube channel and leave a comment down below about what you'd like to learn more about. Do you want to learn more about affiliate marketing? Do you want to learn more about writing a book, setting up a coaching business, setting up creating online courses? What would you like to learn more about? Leave a comment down below and check out some of the other links in the description in terms of ways that you can get started setting up your own online business, creating passive income flows for your life that can support you and that way you can do whatever it is that you want to do. That's maybe um, having some great dinners and some great meals with your family, taking care of your kids, going and traveling the world. Whatever you want to do, you can spend your time as you'd like. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video and it sparked some ideas for you. And um, give me a comment. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. My name is Sal and I'll see you next time.